Hi, I'm Parker, and this is the DATV Camp. Hello and welcome to the Green Screen Guessing Game. I am your host, Katie. The object of our game is for our contestants to choose to uh, guess where they are located. Two contestants will be positioned in front of a green sc screen and using chroma key special effects, we, we can transport them in, into any location we choose. To score points, they will need to correctly guess where they are. The contestant that correctly guesses the location wins one point. Clues will be given by our clue giver, Russell. Each round will have three different locations or images that contestants will need to guess. The contestant with the, the most correct guesses will be the winner. Let's get started. Our contestants are Will and Parker. And our first clue, please. Like the green screen has a lot of plant, plants. Like you're in an area with a lot of plants. A park. A park. Nope. No. You're close, but no. Forest. Forest. No. No. And um, with the plants, there's a door, like a giant door. Power plant. No, it's not a house. No, it's not a house. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. No, it's not a greenhouse. It's not a greenhouse. It's just a door. Just a, a big door. Do you want another clue? Yes. Okay. Oh. So. Power plant? No. It's um from a movie. It's like a location in a movie. I think you should know if you like you watch the movie, but if you want to, you, I'll give you some more time to think. But if you don't know, I'll give you another clue. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. A grass field. A grass field. No, okay. it's um a movie with dinosaurs and as <gasps> I said, Jurassic Park. Uh, yep. So I think um Will said it first, right? Yep. Yep, you got a point. Will scores one point. Our director will select a new location. Okay. Clue giver, take it away. So there's two um, characters in the um, green screen. One is a square <laughs> and is yellow. So. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! Yes. I got it first. Yeah. Parker you keep on stealing my answers. Okay. Well, Parker wins one point. I kind of messed up. Uh, <laughs> Will scored one point, and Parker scored one point. Wow. A new location by our director will be chosen. Clue giver, take it away. So, the um, so the green screen is like, so it's during night time. And also, there's a cat. Um, yeah, it's 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 a nighttime, and there's a building. New York. Which is hot? What? Which hot? Which hot? No. Um. 
Castle. Castle. But Castle. It's from a movie. I it's, said it first. No, I said it first. No, I no hold on. Guys, guys, hold on. It's, it's, one, it's a Pacific type of castle. It's a castle from a movie that like a lot of people know. It's like in the movie, people use magic, so. Harry Potter. But what, what is the castle called? Wizard of Oz. No. <laughs> you you trying to, like, what does the castle called? You, 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 one of you said it's, you said it's Harry Potter, but I want to know what, like, what's the name of the castle? I think it's out of Hogwarts? Yes. Wizard of Oz? Yes, I got it. Hogwarts. Yeah. Hogwarts. Okay. And I've never even watched a single Harry Potter movie. I think Parker got that? Yeah, yep. Parker got that. Okay. I kind of messed up, so I had to, you know, go. Will more. scored one no. point, yeah. and Parker scored two points. Parker wins round one. Yeah. Stay tuned for our second round. Our two new contestants are Kate and Russell. Clue giver, nest clue, please. Okay, so as you can see, well, you can't see. Yeah. Anyways, so it's kind of a castle. It's a castle and it's a type of park. Church? No. 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 Okay. Oh, no, no. Um. Let's see, uh, it has a lot of rides in it. Uh. Disney World? Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Cool. Yes! Yes! <laughs> you got that, you got that, you definitely got that. Winner! Congratulations to you. Congratulations. I know that you're not behind us and this is kind of just green screen, but yeah. we don't care. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, um,. The director has just changed the thing. Okay. Um, let's see. It involves two very big franchises, both made by Warner Bros. And they both have either destroyed a lot of cities or are just humongous in size. Really, both of them are humongous in size. I have no idea. Okay. Hold on. I think I... Any guesses? Yeah, I'm going to... I'm probably gonna be wrong, but um, DC maybe, um, like you know that franchise from. No. Warner Bros. no, okay. no also, no. DC is uh, made by Warner Bros. So. Yeah. Anyways, no idea. The, idea. the next clue that I will be giving is that it's two characters, two different species, one a monkey, the other a lizard. What? Godzilla versus Khan. Yes! Yeah. Correct! <laughs> you have gotten that correct! Russell scored one point. Okay, so for this next one, it involves a gang and a dog. What? Is it. Is it, is it from a movie? No. No. Okay. Also, I'm the one that's telling questions here. <laughs> hey! You, you is it from a TV a show? Yes. Yes, that is your next clue because you guys kind of just asked that out of nowhere. So, I guess it's your next clue. Mm, um, you can you give us another New clue? What? What? Another clue? Yeah. One of the characters' clothes are green shirt, brownish slash reddish pants. Scooby Dooby Doo? Y correct. Yep, Scoob what? and the gang. What? Scoob and the gang. Why did you guys not get the first question? It was a dog in a gang. Uh, I thought it was a but dog. I, I woke on that first try. Yeah, I thought it was a dog going against a gang. Russell scored three points I'm and sorry. he I'm wins sorry. the round. <laughs> The 
now for our third round. Our two new contestants are Frankie and Russell. Clue giver, next clue. Let's see. This is a very, uh, a very popular uh, one game. Next clue. Its popularity mostly spikes uh, uh, probably uh, two or three months ago, I think. Next clue. Is it a video game? Yes. Okay, I need that. Next clue. The characters, uh, uh, until recently, uh, uh, had no arms. Just legs. Among Us? Yes. Among Us? Really? This thing is buzz. Russell scores one point. Our director will select a new location. Clue giver, take it away. This uh, amusement park, I believe, is in Pennsylvania. Uh, Hershey Park. Yes. Yeah. I was Frankie scores one point. Our director will select a new location. Okay. Clue giver, take it away. Well, the characters that live in here have a yellow skin. SpongeBob? No. Oh, okay. oh I, I know. The Simpsons? Yes, that, that is correct. That's my next step. <laughs> Russell scored two points and Frankie scored one point. Russell wins round three. Now for our fourth round, our two new contestants are Frankie and Lucas. Clue giver, next clue, please. So it's basically a place in California. Next clue. It's not really a building, but it's like kind of like a, I don't know. It's like on a hill. Next clue. It's like, um, it's like a big sign. The Hollywood sign? Correct. Frankie sports one point. One point. Our director will select a new location. New location selected. Clue giver, take it away. It's like a building video game. Minecraft. Nope. It used to be a very popular game, but a lot of people hate it. Uh, Terraria? No. It's like um, it's like a battle royale game, like they can't shoot people. Fortnite. Correct. Lucas scores one point. Our director will select a new location. New location selected. Clue giver, take it away. Okay, so this game used is like used to be very very popular. It has like a lot of cool characters. Cool characters. Spoilers. And there is a character who um, is very cute, but he is very dangerous, and he is yellow. Um, yellow, cute, and dangerous. Hmm. Next clue. You try to become like the champion. The champion. You can uh, catch like little creatures with a ball. Uh, oh, 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 was it Pokemon Go? Correct. <laughs> Lucas scored two points and Frankie scores one point. Lucas wins round four. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hello everybody, I'm Gary Muse with DATV and we are in our second of our two summer kids camps that we do uh, five days with uh, students aged 10 to 13 years old and one of the things we love doing is being outside and meeting each of our campers and so we're going to start with our first camper. What's your name? My name is Frankie Fenichetti. And Frankie, you know, you're no stranger to this. Uh, this is not your first time. Uh, definitely not. If I'm correct, this is my fifth or sixth. Wow. Well, congratulations and welcome back. And how old are you, Frankie? Uh, I am 13 years old. Awesome. Um, so tell me what it is in particular that you've enjoyed this, this week during kids camp. Uh, well, getting this far in, I'd have to say probably the control room because you can see almost everything that happens in both studios. You, you're practically the director of what you're looking at. Sure, because in a production, you've got people that are in different places, whether they're on camera or behind the scenes. But in the control room, that's where it all has to come together. So it's a great place to be. Yeah. Um, any uh, aspirations of maybe doing this down the, down the road when you eventually have to decide on a career? Uh, possibly, yeah. Seeing that I've been here for such a long time, I'd, I'd hope that I could possibly help in any way, shape, or form. Well, Frank, it's great to have you back again. Thanks for talking to me. My pleasure. And uh, what is your name? William. William, welcome. And this is not your first time either, is it? This is my third time. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, how old are you, William? Uh, 11. 11 years old. Well, tell me what you have really mm. enjoyed in particular about this week's summer kids camp. Um, I've been like controlling like the cameras a lot and the control room, the green screen. Green screen is, it's, the green screen is pretty cool, isn't it? Yes, it is. Because it's like kind of people watch the weather. Yep. You know, there isn't really a map behind the weatherman. Yes. It's it's all being done electronically, and yes. same thing with this. Yes. And the game show was new for you, wasn't it? Yep. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for talking to me today. You too. We continue to speak with the kids who are with us at this week's DATV TV Kids Camp. And uh, what's your name? My name is Katie. Katie, welcome. I think it's your first time, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, how old are you, Katie? Eleven. And uh, Katie, tell me, since it's your first time, what have you liked in particular about this week? Anything that's really cool? Maybe the green screens and the cameras. And had you ever done much of this type of thing like before, or is this brand new to you? Uh, it's kind of brand new because, uh, yeah. And it's interesting, huh? Did you understand the way the green screen works now? You probably watched it on movies or, or, the, or the weather on the news and whatnot, mm -hmm. but to see it in action. What else do you like about this week? Well, that's kind of really it because that's like the only thing I find interesting because I feel like everything else here is like okay but like the green screen and the cameras are like top to me like they're really cool. Sure. Well excellent. Well again we're glad to have you this week and thanks for talking to me. Continuing speaking to all of our kids that are with us at this week's kids camp. What's your name? So my name is Lucas Hart. Lucas, and you've been with us before, not a summer camp, so welcome to your first summer camp. And how old are you, Lucas? I'm 11 and becoming 12 in September. Oh, great. So why don't you tell me, what, what have you enjoyed the most about this week? Mostly just the control room. Yeah, because that's where you can really see everything happening. Yeah. And you see all the effects because if you're doing green screen, which everyone loves, you're just in, you have a green background and green on the floor. And unless you can see the TV with the effect, you don't really see the final yeah, result. Yeah, you have in the no control idea what's room. happening. Yeah, control room, you see everything. Well, I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself. Thanks for talking to me today. We're continuing to talk to the kids that are with us here at this week's DATV Summer Kids Camp. It's the month of August, a warm, sunny day outside. Well, what's your name? Parker. Parker, how old are you? Nine. Nice. And Parker, this is your first time doing one of these camps. What do you think so far? I think it's actually really good. <laughs> Probably one of the best summer camps I've been to. Oh, that's, we'd love to hear that. Is there any things in particular that you've really liked? I really liked the game show. It was really interesting um, of some things that I've never even seen before. I somehow got it. It was pretty funny. Nice. 
Otherwise, uh, and you're learning about some of the ways that cool effects happen, like with the green screen and all that. Yes, that's also very fun, and I like messing around with it. Nice. Well, we hope uh, you continue to enjoy the rest of this week with a few more days left. Thanks for talking to me. You're welcome. And as we wrap things up, uh, talking to everybody uh, at this week's DATV Kids Camp, what's your name? Uh, I'm Andrew. <laughs> and Andrew, actually, I know Andrew. Andrew is uh, one of our staff members. He's a production technician, um, but was an intern with us last year. And you got to go through uh, before this summer with the two camps. You yep. got to do one in the spring as well. Yeah, I did the April one. So what's your whole take on working with this age group? It's, to it's totally different. Um, kids are still learning on how to use everything in there you know it's more of a not an intro but it's like it's more of a like a teaching moment um kind of getting them helping them get the hang of cameras and equipment so and you know these days kids are pretty technically savvy yep. you know compared to most of us when we were their age but still though um despite the fact that some of them have phones or they can use like an ipad or something yep. to, to to make videos they still see a lot more capabilities with right. what we do. Yep. Yeah, it's totally different because an iPhone, you press record and you're ready to go. With cameras, there's, you know, you got to make sure everything's focused, you got to make sure everything's zoomed in right, and you kind of can't get into people, like, get up close, as close as you would with a phone. Yeah. Um, so it's a lot more precise, I think. And even with green screen, which we've talked about with almost every kid, that's just a whole other technology that right. we, can, we can do it at, at a higher level. Yeah. Um, there's so much more that goes into it, like lighting and, you know, making sure that all the effects are done correctly. So. Great. It's definitely different. Well, it's great to have you, Andrew, as part of the summer camps, and uh, thanks for your help. Of course. That's going to wrap up uh, talking to everybody at this week's kids' camp. Hope you enjoy meeting everybody. Welcome to Drick in the Dark, Drick's own ghost and monster hunting program. I'm your host, Russell. We have a, special, a very special show for you today. As you can see, we're in front of Drick Access Television, DATV, one of, of Drick's most haunted locations. Oh God, Visitors oh here have reported seeing ghosts, skeletons, werewolves, and zombies in this building. However, we know how to get rid of these monsters. In the past episodes, we discovered that these creatures do not like bright light, and also we think that very loud sounds such as this will keep them away. Tonight, my brave ghost Buster Parker and I will walk through the ATV studio armed with a buzzer and a very strong flashlight. They will attempt to draw the creatures outside, but the direct sunlight will hopefully destroy them once and for all. Let's go inside now and meet Parker who is in the lobby area getting ready for the adventures ahead. Hello Russell. Hello. Are you ready to begin? We'll start by moving through the DATV studio and rounding up as many creatures as we can. We need to get them outside into the light. It won't be easy. Come on, let's go. Let's go. It's kind of dark in here, so turn on your flashlight. Yep, doesn't work. How, how did somebody walk us out? I can't see anyone I don't know. here. But guys, we have to find the other way out and bring the monsters out into the light. I think we did it. Yep, definitely. Let's 
check around so there's no, no monsters <laughs> near us. Monsters. Yep, but not when you find a way out because we did get locked out. Yep. Hmm. Okay, here. Okay. Check in there. Yep. I don't think there's anything in here. Okay. Huh. Well, check in here. Okay. Looks pretty big. Yep. We got rid of those monsters. Yeah. Wait! It's went over there! Come on! Come on. I don't think it works on him. I think we're safe in here. Yeah. Ah, monster! Ah, monster! Come on! Get rid of the scout here! Die, scout it! Die by the light! We defeated two of the monsters. Parker, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. See you next time on Drink It in the Dark. Got away from the monster. Oh, there he is! Oh no! Oh, no! Hello! Hello, welcome to the Dragon in the Dark.